والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأولين والآخرين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Well praise you to Allah alone We praise him and we seek his help Whomsoever Allah guides is a truly guided one And whomsoever Allah leaves us say No one can show him guidance May the best peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad Peace be upon him Dear viewers everywhere Approaching the end of the blessed month of Ramadan, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our ta'a, our fasting, our recitation of the Qur'an, our standing at night in prayers. Every good deed we do, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept it and double and multiply the word for it. Amen. Main thing is acceptance. Allah the Almighty said in Surah Al-Ma'idah, إِنَّمَا يَتَقَبَّلُ اللَّهُ مِنَ الْمُتَّقِينَ And that's why the great companion Abdullah ibn Umar ibn Khattab may Allah be pleased with him said once if I am sure and certain that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have accepted from me one single prostration I would like to die right now I would long for death he said why? he said because if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted from me a single good deed, that's a sign that I am one of al-muttaqeen. Because Allah the Almighty says, indeed Allah only accepts from al-muttaqeen, accepts the deeds of al-muttaqeen. So approaching this, the end of this blessed month, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from all of us, all our good deeds, and pardon us and forgive us our sins. Amen. Uh, Insha'Allah, today we're continuing uh, what we started since the beginning of Ramadan. Listening to a beautiful recitation by a great Qari, then learning the meaning of those verses, and then in the last segment we'll get to listen to the recitation of our regular guests here in the program. So I will welcome everybody here in the studio, first of all. Sheikh Ahmed, assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum assalamu wa rahmatullahi May I request you to... Uh, Begin reciting from verse number 37. Please. <laughs> ذلك تقدير العزيز العليم والقمر قدرناه منازل حتى عاد كالعرجون القديم والقمر قدرناه منازل حتى عاد كالعرجون القديم لا الشمس ينبغي لها أن تدرك القمر ولا الليل سابق النهار وكل في فلك يسبحون وآية لهم أنا حملنا ذريتهم في الفلك المشحون وخلقنا لهم من مثله ما يركبون وإن نشأ نغرقهم فلا صريخ لهم ولا هم ينقذون إلا رحمة منا ومتاعا إلى حين وإذا قيل لهم ما بين أيديكم وما خلفكم لعلكم ترحمون 
وما تأتيهم من آية من آيات ربهم إلا كانوا عنها معرضين وإذا قيل لهم أنفقوا مما رزقكم الله قال الذين كفروا قال الذين كفروا للذين آمنوا أنطعم من لو يشاء الله أطعمه إن أنتم إلا في ضلال مبين ويقولون متى هذا الوعد إن كنتم صادقين ما ينظرون إلا صيحة واحدة تأخذهم وهم يخصمون فلا يستطيعون توصية ولا إلى أهلهم يرجعون ونفخ في الصور فإذا هم من الأجداس إلى ربهم ينسلون قالوا يا ويلنا من بعثنا من مرقدنا هذا ما وعد الرحمن وصدق المرسلون بارك الله فيك جزاكم الله خيرا The beautiful verses of Surah Yaseen, which Sheikh Ahmed uh, recited, begin with a verse that's referring to another sign <coughs> in our universe that proves Allah's Lordship and oneness. Basically, Allah the Almighty have used those signs to indicate His oneness and His existence. As He said in Surah Fussilat, Sanurihim. آياتنا في الآفاق وفي أنفسهم حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق exactly. حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق أولم يكفي بربك أنه على كل شيء شهيد uh, This is a promise that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made in surah Fussilat Fussilat means explain in details that he said we shall continue to show them signs after signs, في الآفاق, in the horizon, وفي أنفسهم, and within themselves. Those who happen to study anatomy, they got to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who studied embryology, they definitely have to end up believing in the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Informing us about amazing details, amazing scientific facts, more than 1400 years ago. And the one who conveyed this message to us is Rasul, Nabi, Ummay, an illiterate prophet. This is the most sound reference and the greatest proof that Islam is the truth. And Muhammad sallallahu was the last messenger to mankind and the Quran is the eternal message of God to mankind and the miracle of all miracles and furthermore, it is the everlasting miracle. In the last episode, we spoke about the sign of the day and the night. And we said that the original case is night, darkness. 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 Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala withdraws the day out of the night to remind us with His favor upon us. Then in the following verse, verse number 38, was shams. What about a shams? A shams is the sun. والشمس تجري لمستقر لها. Have people ever seen the sun from close? No, they only recognize sunrise and sunset. Nobody knew what, what does the sun mean. Nobody could even get near to the sun, let alone knowing that the sun rotates. Allah the Almighty is informing us in this verse that the sun runs on its fixed course. For an appointed term. There are some astronomical facts that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stated here, but there is an amazing fact which I call it Ilmul Ghaib that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informed us about it because he got to know it from Allah. Once he asked a companion by the name Abu Dhar al Ghifari, may Allah be pleased with him. 
It was sunset one day. And he said, Ya Aba Dharf, do you know what happens to the sun when it sets? What does it set? I mean, you only see the sun setting in the west. Yeah. Right? And if you happen to be sitting on the shore, or in the river, or in the ocean, you see it like it's sitting in the water. Yeah. Right? And it rises from the east. So Abu Dharr al-Ghifari, a polite student and companion of the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah wa Rasuluhu a'lamu ya Rasulullah. Allah and his messenger know best. He would definitely have a better answer, the best answer. He said, Ya Abu Dharr, whenever the sun sets, it goes to prostrate itself beneath the throne of the most gracious. Tasjudu tahta arsh al-Rahman. Each and every day, the sun at sunset goes to prostrate itself. What did I say? I said, this is the knowledge of the unseen. As we were informed that the sun rotates around its axis, and we were informed in the following verses that the moon too rotates around the earth, and the earth rotates around itself, we were informed about all of that in the Quran, and it came to be proven true. So there is something that for us, we cannot prove right now because we haven't seen the throne and we will not have access to see it but on the day of judgment for those who will get to enter heaven. But to us, for the believers, we believe in it as we could see it and visualize it. As if it is tangible. The sun goes every evening at sunset to prostrate itself beneath the throne of the most gracious. And it asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a permission to rise once again on the next morning. So yeah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows the sun to go and rise, to go back to rise on the next morning, until one day when the sun will not give it, be given the permission, and rather it would rise from where? The west. The west, and that is a major sign of the beginning of the day of judgment on which no repentance will help. If any person did not believe before the sign, and now after seeing the sun rising from the west, oh yeah, the Qur'an is true, and Muhammad is a messenger, and Muslims are the true. It's over. Even if the person says the kalima. And that's why I'm addressing those who are studying Islam. And in many cases when I sit with the men and women who are very anxiously studying Islam, and they, know, they want to know about Islam, and they show interest and say, are you interested, are you convinced? Yes. So what are you waiting for? Let me think about it. And how do you know that you will have a chance? After chances, after chances, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you another opportunity to think about it. How do you know that you will live until you say it? Do not waste this opportunity. Seize it. And say, La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. Because only those who die in a state of belief will be saved and will be eligible for salvation on the Day of Judgment. And if anyone does not believe in the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and in the prophethood of all the prophets, including Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Allah forbade heaven for him. Shaykh? قُلْ هَلْ نُنَبِّئُكُمْ Go ahead. Uh, the sun is set in every minute in somewhere. Can we understand from this that the sun is making bow down or sujood under the throne in every minute? No, but there is only one sunrise and one sunset. And since the earth rotates, mm -hmm. since the earth rotates, so there is a day somewhere and a night somewhere. But there is only one east and one west. And sometimes like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, in, 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 in the verses of the Quran, such as in Surah Al-Rahman, he says, Rabbul Mashriqayni wa Rabbul Maghribayn. He talks about the two east and the two west. west. Are there any more than one east and one west? Of course not. What we're talking about the east during summer and the east during winter, which is different. But as far as the sun, it has only one rise, one, one rising place, and one sitting or the willing place. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. That is the decree of the Almighty 
the all-knowing. It did not happen haphazardly. It doesn't happen continuously and systematically by chance. It is not a big bang that created the universe. No, there is the most wise, the almighty, the all-knowing who is the creator of this universe. What about the moon? وَالْقَمَرَ قَدَّرْنَاهُ مَنَازِلَ حَتَّى عَادَ كَالْعُرُجُونِ الْقَدِيمِ There are countless scientific miracles and evidences in this verse. وَالْقَمَرَ As far as the moon we have measured for it, mansions, dwelling places, till it turns like the old dry curved date stock. Have you ever uh, seen the day palm tree, the leaves, when when it dries up, it, uh, it it becomes like an arch, right? And whenever it's hanging from the tree itself, then this arch will be pointing down, down, down right? So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, Al Qamar, the moon, it rotates as well, and it travels in mansions, in winning places. The moon has 28 mansions or dwelling places. The moon rotates around the earth once a month or once every 27 and one third of the day, 27 days or 28 days, once in 28 mansions. At one point, the moon will be between the sun and the earth. Lunar eclipse. Exactly. And this is when the moon will be facing, the dark side of the moon will be facing the earth. There are a couple of nights where the moon is completely concealed. We don't see it, right? By the end of the month. Then once it's born, when it elevates to a, a higher mansion, it starts reflecting a little bit of the light of the sun because moon itself is a dark object. Yeah. It only reflects the light, the light of the sun. The sun. And it is amazing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran fi Surah Yunus in verse number 5, Nura. Can you tell me the difference, Mustafa, between the Dhiya and the Nur? In slang we say Daw or Nur, it is the same, right? <laughs> But there is a very precise and accurate difference between the two definitions or the two terms, which is uh, dia is like the source of light. Okay. And nur is only the reflection of light. Oh well, this is not what's meant by dia and nur. I understand that you understood this from what I just mentioned that yeah. the, the moon is reflecting some of the light of the sun. But Adliya is always accompanied with heat. I hate him. And that's why whenever it is the daytime, there is sunshine, it's kind of hot. It provides us with warmth. And sometimes it is really hot and sometimes the global warming. Right? Mm. But when the, whenever it's night and the moon is reflecting some of the light of the sun, it only reflects the light without heat. the heat. So that is the meaning of جَعَلَ الشَّمْسَ ضِيَاءً It's a source of light with warmth or heat. وَالْقَمَرَ نُورًا And the moon is only a source of light. Not by itself, but it's reflecting the light. The light. And the best proof to that is what the verse says. It says, وَالْقَمَرَ قَدَّرْنَاهُ مَنَازِلًا The moon is not always complete. But it begins as a crescent, very thin. Once it's born, you can see it past sunset for 10 minutes. Then it disappears. Then it will appear on the next day, but a little bigger. And it keeps growing in its ma'arij, or in its mansions, until it approaches its fullness. The day 14. 13th, 14th, and 15th. And that's why when the Prophet ﷺ advised us to fast three days of every lunar month, he called them the white days. Why? Because the moon is either approaching its fullness or it's a full moon night. So there is a full light 
there is a full life and that's what we call him white days because of the full uh, brightness of the moon so now I said at a certain point there is no light from the moon at all then with in it travels in its mansions the Christian will be born providing us with the Christian very mm -hmm. thin like an eyebrow but I want you to notice this it will be pointing up it will be pointing up and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says it will continue to travel in its mansions and it grows bigger and bigger and bigger until it reaches its fullness a full moon and what happens after that after the 14th it once again starts decreasing this until it returns to the same condition where you only see a very thin crescent that is similar to an old right curved date stock. But in this condition, I want you to notice and observe the scientific Quranic miracle. The similarity between the dried date uh, stock and the crescent. Not in the first condition when the crescent is once born, but whenever it is disappearing, by it by the 27th and the 28th night what happens you see the cursor is pointing down similar to the dried curved date stock mm -hmm. look at the similarity and that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose this beautiful example which the Arab and the Bedouins and those who have seen their palm trees and dried their palm trees and leaves uh, frequently so they can Notice the similarity between both of them. There is another very interesting miracle with regards to the moon. Guess what? I, I initially said that the, the moon travels around the earth and in a semicircle. Its length is approximately 2.4 million kilometers. The cycle of the moon around the earth in a semicircle, not in an exact circle. The moon was mentioned in the Quran 28 times. The word moon was mentioned in the Quran 27 times. In addition to yasalunak anil ahilla, which is plural of the moon, the hilal. So that's 28 times. Equal to the manazil or the mansions or the dwelling places which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appointed for the moon to travel on every single night. What is this? This is the Quran. We're talking about the divine message. What science you're talking about? Who taught us? Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq khalaq al-insana min alaq min alaq Iqra wa rabbuka al-akram alladhi allama bil qalam He is Allah who, he's the one who taught us. The angels the angels admitted before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when they argued or when they have a, a question, a request, why would you create a human being who would create trouble on earth? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, I know what you do not know. I know what you know not. Inni a'lamu ma la ta'lamun. Then he taught Adam all the different languages. Wa'allama Adam al asma'a kullah. Then he showed the different words and languages and things to the angel and said, Could you tell me their names? They said what? Subhanak, la ilma lana illa ma allamtana. Glory be to you. We have no knowledge except what you teach us. The angels admit that they have no knowledge except what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us. If one of us happened to study an uh, undergraduate astronomy or science or anatomy, he or she thinks himself that have encompassed all the knowledge. Yeah. We're supposed to learn this knowledge in order to lead us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَالْقَمَرَ قَدَّرْنَاهُ مَنَازِلَ حَتَّى عَادَكَ الْعُجُونِ الْقَدِيمِ في سورة يونس when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said هو الذي جعل الشمس ضياء والقمر نورا وقدره منازل and he keyed for the moon mansions or the willing places what we talked about it. By the way, astronomers have already uh, they already have names for each one of those mansions. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala set it up this way? وَقَدَّرَهُ مَنَازِلَ In order to لِتَعَلَمُوا عَدَدَ السِّنِينَ وَالْحِسَابِ 
in order to know the number of years as Muslims we follow the lunar calendar the month begins when the Christian is born and it ends when the Christian disappears we have two days where it disappears totally by the end of the month then once it's born once again that is the beginning of the new month last verse in this beautiful set and series of evidences and global and universal evidences that prove Allah's existence and Lordship is that لَالشَّمْسُ يَنْبَغِي لَهَا أَن تُدْرِكَ الْقَمَرُ وَلَا اللَّيْلُ سَابِقُ النَّهَارُ وَكُلٌّ فِي فَلَكٍ يَسْبَحُونَ It is not for the sun to overtake the moon nor does the night outstrip the day they all float each in an orbit so this whole process doesn't happen haphazardly or by accident, no. They all float in their orbits by the leave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that will continue to take place until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stops it with the beginning of the greatest major sign of approaching and beginning the day of judgment when the sun rises from the west instead of rising from the east Mm -hmm. So let us seize the opportunity of being alive, of being believers, of recognizing that, and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness before it is very late. The yeah. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will continue to forgive us our sins until the sun rises from the west. west. The west. Then it is over. We ask you, Allah, to forgive us our sins Amen. and to teach us what we don't know and to help us to follow exactly your teachings and your guidance. Subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma allamtana innaka anta al alim al hakim. You are indeed the all knowing, the all wise, the most wise. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. By that, we finished the series of the episodes especially for Ramadan and inshallah we'll meet after Ramadan with our regular programs of correct your citation but inshallah we'll take uh, a couple of minutes break and we'll return back very soon so please stay tuned Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh every day and do read it loud What are the beautiful aspects that Allah has placed in our hearts and how can we enhance them? What is the best way to take good care of our hearts and nurture tranquil hearts that will lead us to paradise? All these questions and much more will be answered inshallah in secrets of the heart. So join us on every day throughout the month of Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh and welcome back. Inshallah in this segment we're going to uh, listen to your recitation. We'll begin uh, with Shindi uh, from verse 45 of Surah Yasin inshallah. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem wa idha qila lahum attaqu ma bayna aydikum wa ma khalfakum la'allakum turhamoon وما تأتيهم من آية من آيات ربهم إلا كانوا عنها معرضين وإذا قيل لهم أنفقوا مما رزقكم الله قال الذين كفروا للذين آمنوا أنطعم من لو يشاء الله أطعمه إن أنتم إلا في ضلال مبين ويقولون متى هذا الوعد إن كنتم صادقين ما ينظرون إلا صيحة واحدة تأخذهم وهم يخصمون 
فلا يستطيعون توصية ولا إلى أهلهم يرجعون حسبك جزاك الله خيرا مصطفى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ونفخ في الصور فإذا هم من الأجداث إلى ربهم ينسلون قالوا يا ويلتنا من بعثنا من يا ويلنا قالوا يا ويلنا من بعثنا من مرقدنا هذا هذا if you remember we said about a sect al latifa which is a light pause where you pause without taking a breath because mm-hmm. we're prolonging al mad al munfasil to four Okay, so in this case, uh, we should stop, pause, without taking a breath. As the Sheikh did, and listen to it. قالوا يا ويلنا من بعثنا من مرقدنا هذا ما وعد الرحمن وصدق المرسلون when I stopped, I did not take a breath. I did not, I did neither inhale nor exhale. Okay? Qalu ya waylana man ba'athana min marqadina hadha There was no pause. Min marqadina Look at me, Mustafa. Min marqadina hadha ma wa'ada ar-Rahman so I paused completely. I have a complete stop. But the only difference between this stop, a stacked al-atifa, and the regular stop, that I do not take a breath. Qalu ya waylana man ba'athana min marqadina hadha ma wa'ada ar-Rahman wa sadaq al-mursaloon. Remember, dhamma means dhamma. You collect your lips. You circle your lips. Al-Mursaloon. Is there any difference between Al-Mursaloon and Al-Mursaloon? Mm-hmm. Obviously, it's mm-hmm. tending to be Fatha, not, uh, not Dhamma. Okay? So in the case of the Dhamma, you circle your lips and you pronounce it as Pesh or Dhamma. Okay? Wasadaqa. Wasadaqa Al-Mursaloon. Furthermore, المرسلون المرسلون Excellent mm-hmm. إن كانت إلا Remember what I said uh, before Ramadan I said Remember the word ink mm-hmm. Say ink Ink In addition to the gunna ink. ink Right Ink mm-hmm. That is the best way to pronounce the ikhfa in case that a noon is taken is followed by kaf. Kaf. So you should say إن كانت okay. إن كانت إلا صيحة واحدة فإذا هم جميع فإذا هم جميع لدينا محضرون فاليوم لا تظلم نفس شيئا وَلَا تُجْزَوْنَ إِلَّا مَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ جزاك الله خيرا بارك الله في uh, The next segment, uh, next few verses will be addressing uh, the dwellers of heaven, أصحاب الجنة and Abdullah inshaAllah would recite those verses أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن أصحاب الجنة اليوم في شغل فاكهون هم وأزواجهم في ظلال على الأرائك متكئون لهم فيها فاكهة لهم فيها فاكهة ولهم ما يدعون سلام قولا من رب الرحيم وامتاز اليوم أيها المجرمون 
ألم أعهد إليكم يا بني آدم ألا تعبدوا الشيطان إنه لكم عدو مبين وأن اعبدوني هذا صراط مستقيم ولقد أضل منكم جبلا كثيرا أفلم, أفلم تكونوا تعقلون هذه جهنم التي كنتم توعدون اصلوها اليوم بما كنتم تكفرون اليوم نختم على أفواههم وتكلمنا أيديهم وتشهد أرجلهم بما كانوا يكسبون ولو نشاء لطمسنا على أعينهم فاستبقوا الصراط فأنا يبصرون ولو نشاء لمسخناهم على مكانتهم فما استطاعوا مضيا ولا يرجعون ومن نعمره ننكسه في الخلق أفلا يعقلون وما علمناه الشعر وما ينبغي له إن هو إلا ذكر وقرآن مبين لينذر من كان حيا ويحق القول على الكافرين حسبك بارك الله فيك وجزاكم الله خيرا I feel like uh, reciting those verses again the verses which would deal with أصحاب الجنة then uh, distinguishing them from the criminals on the Day of Judgment. So allow me and uh, Sheikh Ahmed, please uh, correct me if I err. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Inna ashab al-jannati al-yawma fi shughulin fakihun هم وأزواجهم في ظلال على الأرائك متكئون لهم فيها فاكهة ولهم ما يدعون سلام قولا من رب الرحيم وامتاز اليوم أيها المجرمون ألم أعهد إليكم يا بني آدم ألا تعبدوا الشيطان إنه لكم عدو مبين وأن اعبدوني هذا صراط مستقيم ولقد أضل منكم جبلا كثيرا أفلم تكونوا تعقلون هذه جهنم التي كنتم توعدون اصلوها اليوم بما كنتم تكفون اليوم نختم على أفواههم وتكلمنا أيديهم وتكلمنا أيديهم وتشهد أرجلهم بما كانوا يكسبون ولو نشاء لطمسنا على أعينهم فاستبقوا الصراط فأنا يبصرون 
وَلَوْ نَشَاءُ لَمَسَخْنَاهُمْ عَلَى مَكَانَتِهِمْ فَمَا اسْتَطَاعُوا فَمَا اسْتَطَاعُوا مُضِيًّا وَلَا يَرْجِعُونَ وَمَن نُعَمِّرْهُ نُنَكِّسْهُ فِي الْخَلْقِ أَفَلَا يَعْقِلُونَ وَمَا عَلَّمْنَاهُ الشِّعْرَ وَمَا يَنْبَغِي لَهُ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا ذِكْرٌ وَقُرْآنٌ مُبِينٌ لِيُنْذِرَ مَنْ كَانَ حَيًّا وَيَحِقَّ الْقَوْلُ عَلَى الْكَافِرِينَ Brothers and sisters, by that we come to the end of this episode and to the end of the special program of correct your citation during Ramadan. We ask Allah the Almighty to forgive us our sins and to accept from us all our good deeds and to keep us steadfast on the straight path until we meet him safely. Allahumma inna nas'aluka husna al-khatima Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-hidayata wal-huda wal-tawfiqa wal-sadada wal-ghina Allahumma allimna ma yanfa'una wanfa'na bima allamtana wa zidna ilma walhamdulillahi ala kulli hal ونعوذ بالله من حال أهل النار وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم By the end, happy Ramadan and happy Eid تقبل الله منا ومنكم May Allah accept from all of us سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك والسلام عليكم رحمة الله وبركاته Brothers and sisters, to increase your iman Read the miracle, recite the Quran Recite it every day and do read it loud The verses of Quran are all Muslims pride This miracle was revealed over a long time span Sent from Allah to an angel then to a man That man was Muhammad the best of creation And we were chosen to be part of his nation He gave us a message and that was Islam So read this miracle, recite the Quran 